Okay, I'm gonna address something real quickly. In the trailer for this movie, you can see in the bottom corner the name of the song they're playing. No, seriously, look, it's it's in the corner of the trailer. Like who who does that? Who? Here comes the money. Small, small, I can't reach my foot. It's just, it's, it's small foot. So, small foot is the movie about this yeti. He lives in this village of yetis, and they're all yetis, and there's ice and snow, and he finds a human, or as he calls them, small, he calls what? A small foot. This isn't addressed in the movie, but if there's multiple people, if there's multiple. Humans, do they call them small foots or small feet? Because small foots is improper grammar, but small feet, that isn't really, whatever. Like, we just call it Bigfoot. We don't really say, also, why are they calling it small foot? It's the Yeti. I'm thinking too much about it. So, he finds a small foot, and he's all like, I gotta prove the village, and the village all like, uh-uh, you can't, because you've seen the premise before. You've seen this movie before. Just when I thought I'd get a creative animated movie. I haven't had a, a creative animated movie for a while. I know Incredibles 2 is an amazing movie, but let's be honest, it's not insanely creative. It's creative, whatever. It's probably the most creative movie, animated movie of the year, which kind of sucks, because I just want something creative. Where is creativity in our world? And like I said, you've seen this movie before. Why don't we just talk about it? Because, you know, I saw it. I just felt like seeing a movie, I didn't even know if I was going to review it, because I really didn't think anything of the trailer. Like, I, I didn't, the trailer wasn't anything interesting to me. Like, let's be honest, um, I like Warner Bros. Animation. I think they have a lot, I think every movie they made is good. I know Lego Ninjago is eh, but it's actually not even their worst movie. I think Storks is worse than Lego Ninjago. Come at me, bro. Come at, come at me. Like, I love Lego movie. I really like Lego Batman movie. I... Really like I, I thought Lego Ninjago was okay. I know a lot of people hate it, but I just thought it was okay. I really thought Storks was middle of the road okay, and now let's talk about their fifth one now, Smallfoot. Now I'm happy that Warner Bros. isn't banking off of the Lego Movie as anymore. Like I think they're they're done with the let. Yep, I know there's a sequel. I know that. Well, it's a direct sequel to the Lego Movie. No more of those spin-offs. We're doing a direct sequel now, which I'm excited for. But Smallfoot, I was excited for this movie when I heard the premise and I saw the teaser. Like, the teaser didn't show us that much, but I was excited for the reason being that Warner Bros. is a, they're really good in their comedy area. If you're gonna count, um, I don't know if we're counting Teen Titans Go as them, but the sense of humor that's in Teen Titans Go is, they're like, okay, the movie, I mean. Like, they have a really distinct sense of humor that I really like. Like, it's really just a direct kind of slapstick, but not Hotel Transylvania slapstick. It's a slapstick where it's like a fast-paced humor that doesn't drag a joke out. Thankfully, this movie did not do that. Even though I didn't really have a handful of really funny jokes, I chuckled a couple times. Lighting changed because I actually moved that pink light out. Finally, in the middle of a review. Wow. Like I was saying, I wasn't really hyping this movie, or expecting a huge amount of awesomeness to come out of this movie. So, and I've seen it, and I didn't even really plan to make a review. I am, because I feel like it. Also, I like to make reviews, and I also missed yesterday's review. So, yeah, we'll talk about it, I guess. But anyway, I did say I was kind of excited for it, because I like the other Warner Bros. movies, and honestly... I even know I was a bit nervous, for a couple reasons. One, I didn't really ever laugh at the trailer. Like, neither of the trailers really made me laugh. Neither of them were that funny. Sure, the animation looked nice. I thought it could be good. But it really looked just like a generic kids movie that I wouldn't find that funny. That's, that's kind of what it is. It's a generic kids movie that adults might find some jokes funny. Because I, I laughed a couple times during it. But for me... I didn't think it was that funny, which sucks, because I find Warner Bros. very funny, and this is the first time where I consider the movie wasn't hilarious, other than Storks. That one wasn't hilarious. It was funny, but not hilarious. 
God, the line between this one and Storks is so clear. Everything I could say on Storks, I have to say for Smallfoot, which is why I didn't review Storks yesterday like I planned to. Because I was worried that if I did want to make a Smallfoot review, it would be the same review as Storks. Like, I thought I would have the same opinion on the two movies, so I didn't review Storks. Also, because no one really cares about Storks anymore. But I was right. This is a very similar movie. Has pretty much the same messages, has the same type of characters, has the... It's very similar. Very similar. That being said, I enjoyed Storks. So did I enjoy this movie? Yeah. Let me just get this right out of the way. I already said it, but it's very cliched movie. That I can't stress that. You will predict the entire movie. I did. It's a predictable movie. But there's a couple other things I liked out of this movie. Like a lot. One, the acting. I didn't really know any of the actors, but I thought they were all good. Le Le LeBron James is good. That's a dead meme. Um, I also liked James Corden. He sings a song in the movie, and I was kind of impressed. Like, I, didn't, I thought it was going to be really bad, even though I barely remember the songs. Oh, that's another problem with this movie. The song, why is it a musical? I did not want it to be a musical. Ended up being a musical, and it was a really lame musical. Like, as a musical, I don't remember a single song at all. Like, they all just left my brain. I spaced out when they were playing most songs. They were all just your generic, like, happiness. Oh, this is the truth. Yeah, there's actually one rap song in this movie that I actually quite enjoyed listening to as it happened. Didn't really remember. I thought there's actually... It's actually a pretty cool song. Other than that, uh, God, I think I might end this review right here. I have barely anything to say. It was okay, I guess. Because in the end, Smallfoot's everything you saw from the trailer. It's a bit predictable. It has cliched characters. It has a cliched plot. It's a trope mountain. It is filled with it. It saves itself by having likable characters, beautiful animation. I love the animation in this movie. Um, an interesting premise, some good comedy sprinkled in there. Overall, it's probably Warner Bros. Animation's worst movie, simply because the other ones all made me laugh pretty hard. This one didn't really make me laugh that hard. It's still an okay movie. Then if you have kids, yeah, go, go, go take your kids to it. They'll definitely enjoy it. It's colorful. And it's fun and it's imaginative. And this review is seven minutes long, even though I barely anything to see it. I spent like four minutes of that review talking about the movie and the other half talking about what, whatever. If it, look, if you're if you're just going alone as an adult, I don't recommend you do. Just rent it on Redbox. Maybe you'll enjoy it then. If you're going with a family, take them. They'll enjoy it, definitely. Um, this is a movie that I think you could check out if you want. I'm not really like saying you have to check it out or it's terrible, but it's okay. I will give Smallfoot, uh, I guess, a 7. You know, that's like the first time I came up with the rating on the spot. Because I had no idea. I was thinking 6 or 7. I jumped to 7 because I liked it more than I didn't like it. Anyway, what do you guys think on Smallfoot? I know Night School came out this weekend, but I thought the trailer was terrible. I was not excited. It turns out the movie was terrible, apparently. I, I, so I just thought, I'm not going to waste my time. I'd rather go see Smallfoot, a movie that's supposed to be funny. And I bet this movie was more funny than Night School would have been. Any guys, anyway, what do you guys think on Smallfoot? I can't wait for next week is next week's Venom! I mean, it's guess it's not like super hyped, but I want a blockbuster review. And I'm seeing it open at night, hopefully. So I'll get a review out Thursday night. I can't wait because it looks pretty cool. See you guys next time. Goodbye. I will try and get more videos out. There are a lot of things I've been wanting to talk about lately. Some news. A lot of really cool news, like some Fox rescheduling that I really think is really spicy and really good to talk about. Other than that, see you guys next time. Make sure to subscribe. Bye! Yeah, bye. Whatever. I have nothing to say at the end. Bye!